Hey guys, welcome to Yoga with Coops on our Striker Pose 21 Day Challenge. Today we're at day 12, we're, we're there, we're getting there with our practice. Today we're going to try such a queen pose, it's called Vasisasana. Vasis stands for the best or the most excellent in your body or in your mind. And so how I like to see this pose, Vasisasana, the side plank, is making it right for your body because the side plank you can feel lots of different pressures on different parts of your body and so making it right for you and taking your time with every stage of this pose and not thinking you have to create one final pose experiment and have fun so this is why home practice is great you get to take your time so let's start by just coming down onto the knees and we're going to just look after our wrists and if you have any wrist injuries just take your time circling to the wrists Carpal tunnel syndrome in the wrist can be really painful, so don't put pressure on the wrist, don't practice this pose, or we find the modification that we're going to do shortly. So wriggle into the wrists, and then place one hand, palm facing the outer edge of the mat. And start to bring the opposite hand onto the fingers, and push the fingers towards you. Bend into this left elbow. Take a few breaths. Really subtle, simple movement. Super powerful, release the hands down. And then ready to bring the right hand, palm facing the outer edge, the front of the mat. And then bring the right hand onto the fingers, pushing into the fingers, push against the fingers. Big breath in, now and exhales. Great, and then slowly lift up these arms, stretching into your shoulders, the rotator cuffs. Breathing in and exhaling. Great, we're gonna come onto all fours and I'm gonna stay on the side of the mat. So here, you, if you've got two mats, you can open up to so put another mat out, kind of like a double bed, okay? Or you can keep it exactly how it is. We're coming onto all fours on the side of our mat. Take a nice breath in here, exhale, and then slowly release the right leg out towards the side. Once you're there, just start to glue the inside of the foot towards the mat. Breathe in into the inside of the leg muscles, strengthen the arms, lift the right hand up into the air. Nice big breath in, open up the right lung, exhale, release down. One more, inhaling, all the way up, and exhale, all the way down. Great. And then lifting that arm up in the air, threading the needle, this is cool, this is an extension of that. As we exhale, thread this right hand underneath the left arm. Float the shoulder towards the mat. You'll start to feel this in your inside right thigh. And then with your left hand, you can keep it exactly where it is, or walk it round to the top of the head, ping the elbow up towards the ceiling, finding extension in that elbow. And slowly release. We're going to start to walk these hands up, so take your time, walk them up towards your hips. Great, hold in here. So that first pose, that may be your modified side plank. Stretching into the, the muscles of the legs and the abs. This could be modified too, so let's open the arms up nice and wide. Big breath in, gaze up. Exhale, palms together. And so feeling the length in your ribs is super important. Here, openness, roll the shoulders back. Then bring the palms towards the right. Stretching, finding that crescent. And then releasing back, exhale. And over towards the other side. And as we do, this left hand's gonna pop down onto the mat. If it doesn't wanna reach the mat, swoop over and get your block, get your book. And find that push up. Nice big breath in, inhaling. Great, exhale, releasing here. Bring the knee in, wiggle into those hips. 
Good, placing the hands down. And taking a few breaths here. And maybe loosening and taking cat cow. Lifting the hips, lowering the head, lifting the spine. And start to extend the left leg out towards the side. Wiggle it out till it can't wiggle anymore. Lift the gaze, lift the chest, extend the arms up away from the mat. Push the hands into the mat. Great. Finding that stretch in the legs. So these legs, they stretch out inside plank. This is a really good prep for it. And this may be where you stay for some time in your yoga home. And that's absolutely fine. Lift the left arm all the way up into the air. Open up that left lung. And then exhale, thread it underneath the right arm. Loosen down. And this might feel super tight on the hips, so if it does, keep the chest up. Maybe use a block and rest here. And just hold that pose, okay? It's fine to modify and adjust to what feels right in your yoga home. And slowly release. Great. Keeping the leg where it is, bringing the hands to the hips. Great. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lengthen the arms. And then exhale over towards the left. Stretching into all these intercostal muscles, side tummy muscles. And so the plank is excellent. It's best for your core. Exhale over towards the opposite side. Hand down. Find that lift up. Great, and maybe curving over, curve that arm over. And releasing down, great. Wiggling, let's come to all fours. Bend into the knees, wiggle into the hips. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna start to extend out one of your legs, shoot it out, and then thread it over the opposite leg. Place it on the floor, use an inhale here. Lift the chest, the exhale, lower the back heel down. Good, once you're there, start to work on peeling this arm up. Peel the left arm up into the air. Shooting up, nice big breath in. And exhale it down. Lift the foot back. If you're feeling at this point, drop the knee down, that your wrists are hurting, place your right forearm onto the mat. So let's take it there. Okay, shoot the left leg out and then cross it over the right foot and then find that lift up. Nice big breath in and exhale it down. Good, wiggle into those hips. Take it on the other side. So walk the hands underneath the shoulders, breathe the core in, shoot the right leg out. Toes facing down and hook over that foot, just kicking my prop out of the way. Use an inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, walk the foot, the heel down. And lift the arm up. Nice big breath in. And exhale, release it down. Nice and slow. Practicing with the forearm. So placing the forearm down. And shooting the leg out. Taking it over. Lifting up, inhale. Wiggling into those hips. Great. So it's starting to train the body to take the full side plank. But this may be your best pose, whatever I've done already. Stay with it. Okay, so side plank. Let's lift into down dog. So lift the hips up. Pedal it out. Roll the shoulders back. Nice long arms. Spread the fingertips wide. Breathe. Pull the belly button in towards the spine. And then walk the feet together, big toes together. And I'm gonna glue in my right hand. I'm gonna to start to twiddle my hips onto the right. So the right hip is coming towards the side of the mat. And lift up, lift up your left arm. I'm finding here, this may be super too powerful for you. So bring it back, place it back, take a down dog or loosen down, so modify the dog, place the forearms on the mat, wiggle into those hips. And start to get, so finding the big toes joined together, 
and twiddling those hips, breathe the core in. And finding that lift up, and then with this left thigh, I'm going to lift it over the right thigh. Push the foot down halfway into the mat, and find my lift up. So this right hip, we might want to dip down low, and it's lifted up, squeeze your pelvic floor in. Inhaling here, holding that, exhale. And slowly release the hand down, sweep the foot back. Down the duck. Lower the knees and just loosen into those wrists. Bring the palms towards the nape of the neck and take child's pose. I'm ready to lift back up into your down dog. Got an itchy nose. Spread the fingertips wide. And lift up, inhale, exhale into dog. Walking those big toes in. Breathe the core in towards the spine, lengthen up, lengthen up those sit bones and then start to twiddle those hips towards the left. Pushing the weight into your arm muscles. Find that lift up in that right hand. And maybe you start to experiment bending into the knee and shooting up, or maybe you keep it exactly where it is, or rock the hand back down, let's take down with dog. Hold in there, hold down dog for a few breaths, and just finding that lift up into the hips, rock onto the left side, great, open up, and then this right hip goes over, the right thigh goes over the left, pull the core in, Lift the left thigh up, big breath in here, inhaling, and maybe the hand comes to the hip, roll the shoulder back, exhale, good, take the gaze down, lift the sit bones, bend into the knees, take child's pose, loosen off the wrists, and take a breather, thank you so much for checking in. Cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Take care. Tomorrow is a big one, day 13. There's going to be three mini poses in one series. Cannot wait. Come with an open mind and have a bit of fun. Namaste.